is going on you guys welcome back to my channel this is Karina from day by day your fitness instructor and fitness brand guys welcome to my channel today we are starting a new series and this is gonna be my last series before uh, the baby comes so I hope you guys enjoy we're gonna be going through a couple of weeks of full body workouts and um, what we're gonna be doing is using different types of equipment so in today's workout we're gonna be using resistance bands as well as weights um, if you don't have any weights available I will post below in the comment section a video from uh, earlier this year which was a resistance band workout that you can follow instead because today we're going to be basically doing a very similar version of that workout but we're going to be using weights and then we're going to be using additional resistance bands for a couple of additional core exercises today so if you don't have weights at home again you can either simulate by using water bottles or something heavy or you can just click on the video below and then i will also post somewhere around here the time um, where we get into the additional core exercises for today's workout. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy and uh, let's get into it. Okay guys, so let's get into a little bit of a warm up here. We're gonna step it out, just side to side here, crisscross those arms. Wanna get the whole body nice and warm today. So let's keep it moving, very good. And let's do a couple of shoulder rolls and some curls. Very good, again, just making sure we're nice and warm. You guys know the drill. Always wanna have a nice ready body before we get into the craziness of the muscle work. So again, just waking it up, feeling good. Very good. And here we go, ankles, reaching for those ankles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can go into jumping jacks or you can do heel jacks. 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 3, 2. Let's curl those legs back and pull the arms back one more time here. Really focusing in on squeezing the center of that back as we're pulling back. Very good. Let's do those ankles again in the front. Want to open up those hips. Very good. And let's reach to the outside of the foot here. Very good. Five, four, three, two and one, let's go into knees and pulling those arms back again. Awesome. And let's pull from the top. Very good. Keep those arms going. We're gonna change the leg to a kick. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Marching it out here for eight, seven, six, five. A little bit wider, four, three, two, one, and here we go, side by just here, six, five, four, three, two hands over the thighs, twist, six, five, four, three, let's add the hands to reach down, and opposite hand reaches up, five, four, three, two, one, very good, let's take it up, and a little bit for the head here, side to side, and up down, very good, last time take a nice deep breath up, shake it off a little bit, let's get ready. So guys, we're going to be doing a circuit style workout today using the weights. Now, um, you don't want to go too heavy, only because again, um, we are going to be going from one exercise right to the next, to the next, and so on and so forth. If you have the option to adjust your weights, you can go ahead and do that as well. I'm going to stick to one set of weights. I might reduce the weight a little bit for certain exercises. Um, but basically, what we want to try to do is get through this whole circuit without stopping. Uh, of course, feel free to take your breaks as you need. But we're going to try to hit every exercise for 20 repetitions. And then we're going to have about 45 seconds to a minute break before we repeat it all over again. 
So I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a heads up. The first exercise is going to be squats, followed by bicep curls, okay? Um, if you guys are new to my workouts, what I would do is suggest that you guys maybe watch through the video once, make sure you know all the movements correctly. If not, you can hit on the um, videos that I have, the how-to videos on my page, where there's a lot of variety of like how to do proper exercises for squats, for lunges, push-ups, etc. And look through those first before we get into the whole thing, okay? That being said, please take your water breaks as you need, keep your intensity as high or as low as you'd like, and especially for those of you who are pregnant, please listen to your bodies, don't push yourself beyond what uh, you're comfortable with, okay? So let's get into the squats here. Three, two, one, let's take it down. 20, squeeze the boots at the top. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, keep it going, 14, squeezing those boots, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, keep it going, 2, and 1. From here, bicep curls. Get ready. 3, 2, 1, and go. You can do double or you can do alternating depending on how heavy your weight is. I'm going to start off with double. I might go into singles halfway through. 14, counting down here. 13, 12, 11. Making sure you're not swaying the body. I'm going to actually stand sideways. Next exercise is going to be lunges. So I'm going to show them to you um, the side profile view. 10 left here. 9, 8, chest up, shoulders back, core is engaged. Seven, also notice my knees, they're staying soft. Four, three, two, and one. From here, going right into lunges. Get ready, and taking it back. 20, 19, 18. Breathing in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Again, noticing, chest up, shoulders back. Staying tall, the upper body, my front knee doesn't pass the toe. Keep it going, guys. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, you're there, three, two, one, awesome. From here, we're gonna go into back rows. So I'm hinging from the hips, retract the shoulders, soft knees, rowing for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, squeeze that back, good. 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna reduce my weight by just using one weight for this exercise. Pressing, shoulder press, pressing up here. Soft knees, glutes engage, press up, 20. You can most definitely use two weights. 17, 16, yep, good. 14, 12, 10, awesome stuff. 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Let's take it down. Push-ups. So you can go into full, half, or box. 
As you guys know, I'm going to go into box. Feel free to do any version that you're comfortable with. Three, two, one, and go. 20. Exhaling all the way up. Inhaling all the way down. 16. 15. Breathe in. Exhale up. 13. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. Keep it going, guys. 5 more. 4. 3. 2. And 1. Beautiful. Triceps. You can do this on your knees like myself. Or you can do this standing, whichever way you prefer. If you're on your knees, you're coming up. So you're not just kind of chilling back here. You're coming up. Here we go. I'm gonna flip my weights. Three, two, one. Triceps overhead. 20. 18. 16. 14. Woo. stronger um, with a little bit of a heavier weight. So with that being said, second round, three, two, one, let's make it happen. 20, 19, squeeze those at the top, 18, breathe in, exhale up, good, squeeze, very good, 12, making sure Knees are aligned with your toes and they're not passing the toes. 10, 9, exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Very good. Let's get into those five step curls. Three, two, one, and go. 20. 18. 
shoulders back and step it. push through. 15. I know that upper body's on fire. 12. 10. 9. 8. 7. You got it. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Whew. Amazing stuff, guys. Grab some more water. One more break. And we'll do one more round.
Final set, guys. Let's grab those weights. Again, adjust if you need. I might try to go through more of the exercises with a heavier weight. Again, up to you, whatever your body's comfortable with. Let's go for the 20 reps. 20 reps, 20 squats. Good. 19. Breathing in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. 16. 15. Chest up, shoulders back. Yeah. Good. 12. Got it, 10 more. Keep it going, nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. And up. Four. Three. Two. One. Awesome, bicep curls. Three, two, one, and go. Singles or doubles. 20, 19, 18, 17. Keep it going, 16. Now because this weight is heavier, I'm doing hammer curls, but you can also do regular curls just the same. 14, 13, 12, 11, good.
10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, my upper body is on fire. Here we go, last exercise before your final break. Here it goes. Triceps, 20, 18, 16, squeeze those triceps at the top, 14, 12, woo, 11, 10, 9, 8, push, 7, keep breathing, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. Oh my goodness, shake it off. Last break, we're gonna finish off with some core, so make sure you have your band available, and I'll see you right back. resistance band and I've attached it to my door here. Um, so I do recommend using a door for this exercise or something that's very, very stable. Now the way that I've attached it is actually behind the door. So it's not hooked on the doorknob here, it's hooked on the doorknob inside for safety purposes, just in case you don't want it to snap, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna stand so that our hand is as aligned to that handle as possible. And all I'm going to do is, without using my hips, you're going to twist slightly and come forward. So I'm using all the muscles in the core here, as well as the muscles in the arm, to twist and bring it in, okay? Then we're going to switch sides, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side, okay? So um, again, we'll give a couple of seconds so that you guys can arrange your band, and we'll get right into it. Okay guys, you're ready? Three, two, one, and go. 20, 19. Again, you wanna make sure you're not twisting from the hips. 14, it's a very small movement. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six. As I'm coming back, I'm coming back to the center, not all the way over. Five, four. So I'm keeping that resistance on both sides of the core the whole time. Two and one. Let's do that again on the other side. So setting it up. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep it going. Eight, nine, ten left. Nine. You should really be feeling this in the core. Again, you shouldn't be swaying those hips. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it off. Take a little break. We're gonna do it for one more round. So again, if you need to add more resistance, just just step a little bit further away from. The door, if you want to get less resistance, come in a little bit closer. Three, two, one, and go. 20, 19, 17, 
15, 14, 13. Squeeze those glutes as well. Keep that lower body in place. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Keep really quick, switching sides. Again, adjusting that your wrists are as close to that handle, so as parallel as possible, and go. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo. Awesome. Shake it off and we're going to get into one final exercise for the core before we get into a pull down. So we're only gonna do one round for this one, and you can use your weights for this as well, but I'm gonna use the band because as I promised, uh, bands for the core today. So if you're using a weight, you're just gonna hold one weight on one side. We have done this before. Actually, we probably did it last week with, um, with the core and tricep workout. So um, in today's video, basically same concept. The closer I stand to the handle that I'm holding, the more intense it gets, the further away, the lighter it gets. I want to add some resistance here to feel that pull. I'm going to keep my knees soft. I'm going to reach over to the other side. 20, 19, 18. This is our last round. Yep. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. We're really hitting those obliques. Working the core all around the back and the front, 10, 9, keep it engaged, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful. Let's switch it over to the other side. Same thing here. So again, Stepping on it, you want to try to have the same amount of resistance on each side. Get ready. Three, two, one, and reach down. Up. 17. 15. 13. 11. 10. 9. Four more. Three, two, last one. Amazing. Guys, very good. I hope you enjoyed it. Grab some more water, and I'm gonna meet you right back at this mat for the stretch. All right, you guys, welcome back to the mat. Let's get into our stretches here. We wanna make sure we stretch out the whole body. So we're gonna start off with our figure four stretch here. Um, a, a 90 degree angle in the front leg, 90 degree uh, angle in the back leg, and we're just going to be rotating around for eight, seven, you guys did great today, six, so I hope you're proud of yourself, you got all those major muscle groups in, let's rotate the other way, four, three, two, and one. Switching over to the other side. So as you guys are watching this video, it is probably February at this point, and um, I'm due at the end of February. So I will be, um, these videos that I'm making now, um, I'm doing them a little bit ahead of the game because I know I'll probably need a little bit of time off and opposite direction, but not to worry guys, um, I am gonna be back for sure. So if you see a little break within the videos, not to worry, I'll be back 
um, but you still have at least another four videos um, coming up in this series and back to center here. So make sure you stay tuned every week because we're still going to be going through these exercises um, and then hopefully within that time frame, I'll be able to create some more for you guys. So we're going to extend one leg, sitting nice and tall, reaching for the toes or as far as you can go. Eight, seven, six. Sorry guys, so much noise today. It's a Saturday and my neighbors are doing some renovation. There's construction outside. Whew. And let's switch over to the other side. So hopefully it didn't interfere too much with the workout. Hopefully with the music in the background, you didn't hear too much of it. But again, my apologies if you are hearing quite a bit of it today. Um, hopefully in the next recording you won't. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Sitting any way you're comfortable, zipping up our jacket. So again, legs extended out, or you can cross your legs as well. And then we're gonna twist over to one side. I'm hoping to actually get a microphone um, for after the baby. <laughs> and hopefully the audio will be even better uh, for these videos. So hopefully um, that's something I'm planning on. And Let's hope it happens. Let's zip it up again, switching over to the other side. And back to center, now staying where we are. Again, legs crossed or uncrossed, up to you. And we're gonna reach over the head to one side. You wanna keep this shoulder relaxed. Actually, both shoulders. <laughs> Let's take it down. So you don't want to be really tense in the shoulder. You want to relax that shoulder as well. And here we go. And taking it back to center. Final one here. Just like we did in the warm up. Side to side with the head. And looking up down. Back to center, taking a nice deep breath up. Give yourself a high five, high five to you guys. Again, thank you so much for joining in. I hope you enjoyed today's full body. I'm excited for the next couple of weeks. So again, if you have resistance bands, you're gonna, we're gonna be working with those next week as well. We're gonna be using weights and maybe some ankle weights. So if you have those, or if you have uh, the possibility of purchasing those anytime soon, make sure you grab those as well. Have an awesome week, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next week.